One day the AIs are gonna look back on us the same way we look at fossils. Hello. Now with ChatGPT models, seems like we are a step closer to the world depicted in this movie. Let me start by saying that AI is going to have an unfortunate impact on our lives. But whether or not it's going to take over the human world, it's still too early to say. But short term wise, people are worried about many things. You know, um, like AI is going to take away people's jobs or it's going to disrupt the education system. True, these are all legit concerns. But in my opinion, AI will not take your jobs, at least not in the near future. Why do I think so? Well, first, AI could spit out nonsense. And I believe we are all aware that it does so confidently that we can't even tell from the truth. So this is a known issue with large language models, and it currently limits the use of AI in industrial production settings. So to me, at this stage, AI tools are best for creative inspiration rather than real industrial production. Another reason why I don't think AI will take away people's jobs is that throughout human history, we've been through many waves of technological disruption we thought would destroy jobs. So for example, back in the 19th century, people thought the invention of cars would be a total disaster because tons of them operating horses or carriages would lose their jobs. But the opposite happened. The employment in the automobile industry increased rapidly and there was no single net loss of jobs. The same goes for digital technology. You know, back in 1980s or, or 70s, people were concerned about computers being replacing traditional jobs like admin jobs, such as typing or record keeping. But these jobs evolved into new roles like data entry or HR management. So the issue has never been with technology or automation itself, because the rise of technology will likely lead to the creation of new industries and, and new jobs. So with AI and automation becoming more prevalent, there will be a growing demand for workers who can design, develop, and maintain these technologies. So I don't believe AI will take away your jobs this time around. However, there is a real threat that I think we should be aware of, and that is not knowing how to use these AI tools. Imagine not knowing how to use a computer nowadays. How would you work, right? And on the other hand, you all know who makes the highest salary now, besides doctors or lawyers. Software developers, they are highly valued because they know how to code, which is the only way for us to communicate with computers. And this makes developers experts in leveraging computers to create new things. With these AI tools though, prompting is pretty much the only skill you need to be a master of these new language models. So what is prompting? It's just the way you tell AI what you want and how you want it. So it's usually quite conversational and it affects how well chatbots can understand and respond to us. Now let me show you some examples. So now I'm going to visit San Francisco and I ask ChatGPT to provide me some guidance. Now using this prompt, it comes up with a few general suggestions on things to do on my trip, like visiting attractions, eating local food, transportation weather, and so on. Now if we improve this prompt a bit with a role play, saying ChatGPT is my guide. This time we got some specific recommendations on places to go, but still not there because I want an actual itinerary. Now let's try even more improvement, explicitly asking for an itinerary and also costs and stuff. So cool, this time I've given the detailed itinerary for each day, the cost and some money saving tips. So finally, with this prompt, I'm able to get what really works for my trip. Now, let me show you another example. So I made this photo using this prompt. A couple friends are having a party at the beach. 
And then if I change this prompt to having a fun party, I got this one where people are laughing and having fun. Then I revised the prompt to having a party under the night sky sparkled with star and a beautiful moon. Then I got a third version. As we just saw, AI is only as powerful as the prompts it's given. Just like programming languages to computers, you need to use the right syntax for computers to understand and to follow correctly. So this is why learning how to write and optimize prompts is just as important as learning how to code because with better prompt, you can get the results you want quickly and more accurately. But if you don't know how to create good prompts, your job might be at risk from those who do. Just as computer developers took over the IT industry, those who know how to effectively use AI will have a competitive advantage in the job market. Now, this isn't just some crazy idea in my head. We've already seen job posts hiring prompt engineers, and guess what the salary range is? So the annual base salary is $175,000 to $375,000. I was blown away when I first saw it, and then I was like, what the heck is prompt engineers? And then after some search, I realized that this role is supposed to do exactly what we just did, write and optimize prompts to give orders to AI models. I knew jobs of this sort will happen eventually, but didn't expect it to happen so soon. So whether or not this prompting engineering role will become the next big thing in the job market, I don't know, but this is a clear sign that working with AI is the inevitable future for us. And if you want to stay competitive, learning how to use AI or learning how to prompt will just be the way to go. Thank you so much for watching, and now it's your turn to share your thoughts. So do you think AI will take away human jobs, or do you believe that humans and machines can work together to create new opportunities? I want to hear from you, so drop your comments down below. Let's get this conversation started, and let's have fun with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more discussion on the future of technology. And thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you in the comment section. Until next time, bye guys.